Hey guys, my name is Wits. If you want to connect your RG Xbox Ally X to a big screen TV or a computer monitor, it's easy to do so. I'm going to show you how to do this in this video. Now, there are many different ways you can do this, therefore my way is not the only way. But first let me show you the two different options to consider if you decide to do this. Again, there are many other options. I'm not a salesman by any means, just a gamer that wants to help. I'm not partnered with any company, I'm just sharing some information. That said, let's first go to the JSOX website, links will be in the description just in case you want to check things out for yourself. So on the JSOX gaming website, you can see this item right here, this is a very popular one, this has been around for a while even before the xbox ally x was in the game so this is very good i've seen a lot of people using it although this is not the one that i'm currently using for my setup but if i had seen this before i would have purchased this instead of the one that i have but i'm showing you this because i think there's a good deal going on here and uh, they have a bundle going on. So if you can get this bundle, it's got some other things that you can use for your ally or whatnot. So this is a very good deal in my opinion. So if you decide you want to go with this route, it is not a bad deal. So it gives you a bunch of stuff for this price right here. So if you want to consider this bundle, just I think it's a good deal. Anyway, if you keep going down, this is everything on the website. It's a six in one docking station and you can see how it looks and how things are gonna look on your setup when you set it up. And uh, different other handheld that used it before like the original Rogue Ally. And uh, yeah, so just check out this website and uh, you can decide whether or not this is the one that you want. Again, this is not the only place. Those are not the only options available on the market. Just I'm just showing you the ones that I would personally consider. Now, the next one is the Asus one. It's the RG Bulwark Dock Station. And uh, this is the one that I am currently using for my setup. It's been very good. I ordered mine from uh, my favorite uh, store, electronic store, Best Buy. And, and that was even uh, before the RG Ally X came out. So I already got it. And that's the one I'm using. And that's the one I'm going to show you how I set up. But it is not any different from the previous one that I show you from the JSOX one. So this is the website for them. Again, link will be in the description. If you decide you want to go with this one, then you can just check it out. So it is a very good one. And as you can see, it's got seven different port. So those are the three ports that you're going to use to put your peripherals like a mouse and keyboard. And if you decide you want to use a controller, a wired controller, then you can do that. It also got an Ethernet port that you can uh, hardwire your connection, your internet connection. And it's got the HDMI 2.1 port that you can use. That's going to be the key to you using this on a big screen TV or a monitor. It also has the two USB-C port that you can use either one of them for your power cord or the one that's charged the device. So that's a plus. That way it doesn't matter which one that you use. This thing is very easy to set up and I'm having a good time with it. So there's no issues. All right, this is how I have my setup. I have a keyboard attached to the dock station and I also have mouse attached to it. And uh, I laid the Ally X on the dock station. And I also have a controller, an Xbox controller for my setup. Now from the back of it, you can see all the cables, the mouse and keyboard cables right there. And uh, you can see the extra port that if you want something else like. So if you want to put your controller in the back as a wired controller, then you can do that. But mine is a wireless one. And you also have the Ethernet port that if you decide to hardwire your internet connection, then you can do that. And the HDMI cable is going to be the key to you doing this. 
Now, I was able to transition uh, very easily with my HDMI cable from the back of my Xbox. I just took that one out of the Xbox and then plug it in into the dock station. And uh, it is seamless for me, but it is not very hard to do. So you're going to connect one end of the HDMI cable from the back of the dock station and then the other end will go to your TV or monitor. So if you're using a computer monitor, just look for the HDMI uh, port and then just plug it in there and then it will work. If you're doing it from your TV monitor, then the same thing. Just look for the HDMI in and then you can just put that on there and that would be just like connecting your HDMI cable to your TV for regular watching TV or whatever system that you use for your TV. So it is seamless. It is very easy. There's nothing to it. Now, once you have all this done and now you are ready to go, you are ready to play your games on a big screen TV or on a monitor. And you're also ready to use the ROG X by Ally X, just like you were using a computer. So now I got everything ready to go. This is my TV screen right here that you're seeing. And then this is the mouse I am using. So I am currently on the front page. Now, if you watch my video from yesterday about the Xbox Ally X on after one week of using it, then you will see the same thing right here. I was showing all this for the front page. That is the xbox full screen experience this is the page that you're seeing right here and you got all this menu so i'm not going to go to all of those this video is about telling you and show you how you can use your xbox ally x with a big screen tv or monitor so we're not going to go through a lot of options you just know that you can do that so if you want some tips about all this you can watch my previous video and how to use this now a lot of people might be asking why would you want to use your handheld device for a big screen tv or a monitor well it is very convenient to do so because there are a lot of things that you would normally do on a computer that you can do that with this device and uh, it makes it easier for you to do that when you are on a big screen tv and uh, also even playing games if you decide that you're tired of playing on a little screen then you can decide and project it on a big screen so that's the plus for having this option and as you can see right here now i'm gonna press the armory crate or the command center button and then it's gonna bring this up and when you bring this up then you have all this option right here you can decide whether or not that you want to mess around with all this system so everything is right here easy for you to use with the mouse and the keyboard if you want to type things and stuff like that now with the mouse and keyboard so if i go to this option right here then you can see you got all these other options so you got this right here where you can go and download the apps like the external apps that you can put on your xbox ally x like steam battle.net epics so this is where you can download those you can manage it down here and for the settings you can just go here and check out the performance and now i've shown all this on my previous video so you want to check it out and then uh, this right here so if you want to just go on the web and using the asus website for instance if i go to the help center right here and then uh, you want to type whatever that you are looking for to find some help so let's say i don't know what you'd be looking for so you could be looking help or whatever so i'm just typing just to show you, show you that the keyboard is working on uh, the rg xbox ally x so you can just do that. Just type in whatever you want and uh, it will tell you. So if I type uh, ROG Xbox Ally X, it shows up and I can use my mouse and then, uh, and then you can just go through all this option. You can see everything right here. So they show you all the guide that's from the help center on uh, this device. So you can see all these things right here. So you can just go and start looking and watch videos, everything. So. The mouse and keyboard makes things a lot easier when you are using it on a big screen. Now, other reason this is useful when you're using on a big screen is for using the desktop option of this device. So if we go on the device and press the command center again, 
And then once you are here, you can just come to this right here, the cog, and uh, you have the option to exit out of this. So I'm going to exit out of this. Now it's going to bring you to the desktop option. And then on the desktop option, you can just go to the store. If you decide that's what you want to do, the Microsoft store that is, if you decide that's what you want to do, you can also just use your windows and then uh, just go and set things up for your system. This guy, just like you were using a computer, you got the settings and you got a bunch of other options that you can use. The store is also right here. And uh, if you decide that you want to set things up, for instance, Windows Update, you can just do all these things right here. Now, another useful thing about the big screen when you're using it with this device is when you come right here to the start menu. So if you right click on this one right here, you're going to have installed apps. Now, in the installed apps option, you can see there are a lot of applications or programs that are here that you may not want and they might be taking space although it's not a lot of space but it is something so 16 kilobytes 16 kilobytes those are not much but if you are trying to gain some space for your system then you can just come here and just uninstall the ones that you don't want so let's say for instance if I'm looking down and I don't want the media player because I'm not going to use it, I can just come here to the dot, click on the dot, and then uh, I can just uninstall this if I don't want it. And uh, just like you can go to a bunch of other things in here, if you decide that they are annoying you, then you can just go and uninstall them. So that's one big thing. It is easier to do this when you are on mouse and keyboard rather than when you are using your fingers on the little screen. So that's one of the big benefits of using the big screen. Now I'm going to stop right here. I showed you some of the things that the big screen is useful for. So now if you want to go back to your Xbox full screen experience, just it will show you right here. You can just go back and then just right here it's gonna have to restart the system which is very annoying but that's the way it is and you will notice whenever you do this then you have to go back and sign back in in your system and uh, in my instance i can just go and uh, do this and i have to use my pen with my keyboard to do that now you do have other options like the fingerprinting but for me the fingerprint never works when i'm on the docking station when I and whenever I'm in the docking the fingerprint never seemed to work it say something about not recognizing so I always go with the other option which is by uh, doing the pen stuff so it's good to have options then we go back to the system so if we want to do other things we can just go and uh, do so so you still have to use the command center to go back and uh, look at things and uh, go back to Xbox, etc., etc. Anyway, that is basically all we have. Hopefully, this helps you out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.